Abdullah ibn Abbas radiallahu anhuma, he tells this story of the Prophet وسلم, going to visit one of the people of the Ansar. This is a man that's relatively unknown. In fact, we don't even have his name in the narration. He's just Rajulan min al Ansar. So the Prophet وسلم, went to visit him because he heard he was sick. So Abdullah ibn Abbas radiallahu ta'ala anhuma, he says, Falamma dana min manzilihi, when the Prophet وسلم, came close to his home, Samiahu yatakallamu fi dakhil. He heard him speaking to someone inside the home. So the Prophet ﷺ is drawing near to the house and it seems like he's speaking to someone on the inside. However, the Prophet ﷺ, he knocks on the door and he asks permission to enter. And when the Prophet ﷺ comes in, he sees that there's no one with the Ansari. So he says to him, Samirtuka tukallimu ghayrak. He said, I heard you speaking to someone else. So the Ansari man responds and he says to him that, Ya Rasulullah, I had gone out and I came back home because I was grieved by what people were saying about my illness. So that could mean that either there was some sort of appearance that came as a result of the illness, he looked sick, or people treated him in a certain way because he was contagious. So even though the narration says humma, which is a fever, it can mean any type of illness that made him repulsive to the people. So he continues with the Prophet and he says, فَدَخَلَ عَلَيَّ دَاخِرٌ So someone came with me to my house. Someone entered into the house after me. And listen to how he describes it. And he says, وَاللَّهِ مَا رَأَيْتُ رَجُلًا قَطُّ بَعْدَكَ أَكْرَمَ مَجْلِسًا وَلَا أَحْسَنَ حَدِيثًا مِنْهُ He said that, I swear by Allah, I have never seen a man after you, Ya Rasulullah, who is more noble of a companion, nor more beautiful in their words. So he's saying to the Prophet ﷺ, this mysterious person entered behind me and he sat with me and he kept me company and I've never seen anyone more beautiful than him except for you, Ya Rasulullah. Rasulullah says, do you know who that was? He says, no. He says, ذَلِكَ جِبْرِيلِ That was Jibreel alayhi salam. And he says, وَإِنَّهُ مِنْكُمْ لَرِجَالِ لَوْ أَنَّ أَحَدَهُمْ يُقْسِمُ عَلَى اللَّهِ لَأَبَرَّهُ He said, I swear by Allah, there are people amongst you that if they were to take oaths upon Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Allah would honor those oaths. When you read the ahadith about a person who is sick, that person, that believer who is sick is surrounded by angels all the time. There are the angels that come to visit. There are the angels that receive the visitors. You are surrounded by the malaika at all times because you're in a state of constant expiation of sins, right? While the sickness is with you in whatever capacity, even if it's a minor illness, right? The Prophet ﷺ said, even if it's something as simple as a fever, the angels remain in your company the entire time and 70,000 angels go with the one who goes to visit the sick person. Person. Of course, the Prophet ﷺ mentioned to us that on the Day of Judgment, as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is speaking to the person who neglected the opportunities of khair, the opportunities of good, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, I was sick and you did not visit me. And the person would say, how could I visit you, O oh Allah? And you are the Lord of the world. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala would respond, don't you know that so-and-so was sick? And had you visited that person, you would have found me with them? And so here you have this random man from the Ansar, who not just any angel follows into his home, but Jibreel alayhi salam takes the form of a human being and visits this man. And that's why the Prophet sallallahu then even says out of ajab, out of amazement, that there are people amongst you. What does he mean by that? There are people amongst you that are relatively unknown, but at the same time, they have such a position with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The Prophet sallallahu says, Rubba ash'ath madfu'in bil abwab that it might be that there's a person that's covered in dirt, turned away from the homes of the people. And if that person were to take an oath upon Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Allah would certainly honor that oath. In another narration, the Prophet said, Ala bi ahlil Jannah? Should I tell you who the people of Jannah are? So they said, Bala ya Rasulullah, yes, O Messenger of Allah. So the Prophet said, Kullu da'ifin mutada'afin law aqsama ala Allah la abarra. He said, every da'if mutada'af, a person that is downtrodden. And mutada'af is that that person is made to be in such a situation. And it's because of their praiseworthy characteristics, either that they are inflicted with poverty and put into hardship, or it's because of the hardship that they're in that praiseworthy characteristics come out of them, right? So they, they bear the fruit of humility in the process of being people that don't hold any weight in society but they are so great in the sight of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, if they were to take an oath upon Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Allah would honor their oath. And that's greater than even the answered supplications, right? So the Prophet is teaching us that there are people amongst us 
that are worthy of being visited by Jibreel alayhi salam, but you would not let them into your home. And that's why you never turn away from anyone. So it's instructive to you when you're sick and when you don't have much prominence in society. And it's also instructive to a person that you don't look away from someone else just because they don't have prominence in society.